Hi, my name is Tim Radney, and today I want to show you how you can use backup to URL from on-premises SQL Server to restore a native SQL Server backup to an Azure SQL managed instance. Now, backup to URL has been around since SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 1 Cumulative Update 2. And in order to use backup to URL, we must have a storage account in Azure, as well as uh, create a local credential on your on-premises SQL Server, as well as the managed instance. So I'm already logged into my Azure portal, and I have a storage account called Radney Blob, and in that, a container called Backups. Now, what I need to find is my shared access signature key so that I can create the Azure, or so I can create the local credential. So what I'm going to do is scroll down a bit. We'll click on Shared Access Signature, and here I need the SAS key. Now, something to point out, this is going to default to only allowing about eight hours of access, so you can go and change the date on this, and this is kind of neat. So if you need to give a vendor, a customer, a client, you know, access to a particular uh, file, you can restrict them to certain days or, or times. So I'm going to bump this up and give myself a couple of days. I'm going to use HTTP and HTTPS, and I want to click Generate SAS and Connection String. Now this is going to give me the connection string, the SAS token, your blob service SAS URL. I'm only interested in the SAS token, so I'm going to click the... Um, I'm going to click the click to copy and from here I can go over to Management Studio where we're going to do the remainder of our work. Right now I'm connected to the local host so that will connect to as well the database engine, local host, and we see here we have a few databases and we're going to back up the wide world importers and then restore that to the managed instance. Now what I want to show you real quick is that shared access signature key Notice it's this whole string. It starts with a question mark, and we don't need that question mark. We need to start with a SV equals, and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to scroll up to my uh, script above, and I'm going to replace the secret that's already here. So for now, on the local instance, we need to create a credential. If I go to security, expand credentials, we currently have no credentials. And this is kind of an important step. So to work with Azure SQL Managed Instance, your identity must be shared access signature. Your create credential, the credential name needs to be your blob storage and the container that you're um, backing up to. And you don't need to include the forward slash at the end of the statement. And then your secret is the shared access signature key that you just obtained. So we're gonna execute this query. We've now created our local credential, so we'll right click and refresh and we see that we now have our credential so at this point I can start backing up the database the command is just like on premises except instead of uh, two disk it's going to be two URL and we can still use compression and stats equals one so we're going to back up database wide world importers to URL to my radney blob blob core windows net backups folder I'm giving it a name wide world importers mi back and I'm going to use compression because I want to minimize the amount of traffic I'm pushing across the network and stats equals one so I can actually see the, um, the stats or how fast this is backing up. So we'll take a look at results, or excuse me, under messages. We can see that it is moving along pretty quick. And so while this is going, we'll connect over to the manage instance. I'm going to show you this. You can connect to it just like any other um, uh, named instance. It's tradnew.wus, it's in the West US uh, region database.windows.net. We need to create the same signature, so I'm going to replace the shared access key here. Execute to create the credential. Now in the manage instance, we should also have a credential. It's going to match what we have on premises. And once the database is backed up, we can issue uh, restore database wide world importers in my from URL, and we'll see how that goes. So this backup has completed successfully. We are at 100%. So we'll come back to the Manage Instance and we'll kick off the Restore. Now one of the neat things about a Restore from Management Studio to, manage in, or to a Manage Instance is once you issue this command, Azure kind of takes over. It's happening in the, in the Azure region. It's no longer tied to your Management Studio. So if you lose connectivity or anything like that, it's not going to matter. The restore is still going to take place. We can take a look at the restore times and we can see the restore statement is 58%. We'll execute again, 82%. And it's neat to be able to track this in a T-SQL statement rather than 
watching the um, the management studio window because we can see it's still executing here, although the actual command is showing that it's complete. So if we refresh databases, we can see the wide world importers MI. We can expand. We can go to tables, and we see stuff is is already here. I can right click, select top thousand rows. We have a result set, but yet this is still executing. So I'm not sure what the delay thing here is. Um, so it is important and nice to be able to see that you can track and manage or view the restore statement outside of uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So eventually I will get the, uh, the statement back. This will show that it's completed. But this is pretty neat. We can do a backup and restore native from on-premises to Azure SQL Managed Instance. This is not something that we can do with Azure SQL Database currently. So for those of us that have done a lot of migrations of on-premises to Azure SQL database, and we had to export to backpack or transactional replication or different methods, this is so much easier and nicer for us to be able to do a direct migration. If you have a lot of databases, a lot of instances, there is um, the database migration service that you can use. You need Express Route or a VPN. Um, but for me, migrating customers doing proof of concepts this has been extremely beneficial, easy to do. I can still script things out. And another thing that's pretty neat is we can, in fact, from Manage Instance, we'll come back here to the editor uh, for Manage Instance. And we have the uh, backup database, Wide World Importer. So we are currently connected to the Manage Instance. Now, if I try to do a, a backup, uh, to URL. I'm going to give this a name of a two and I try to do backup database to URL. This is going to fail. It's going to tell me database backup failed. SQL, uh, SQL database managed instance supports only copy only full database backups. Hey, that's pretty neat. So I can now come here and say, you know, with co uh, copy only and backup my own native managed instance. And we are now backing up Azure SQL Managed Instance Database to URL with copy only. So this is nice if you need to have a one-off copy of your database but prior to you making changes or you want to restore from one managed instance to another. Now, if we did a restore with header only, this file right here would come back and tell us that we are running you know, currently on in August of 2018. It would be version 15.0. something of the database engine, which is currently vNext, because all we have out uh, available to us today is SQL Server 2017. It's the latest, that's version 14. So Manage Instance is higher than that. So we can't bring this database and restore it back to on premises, but we can do a copy only backup as protection prior to doing a big migration or data manipulation, so you can restore to that point in time. Or if you need to take this down to a, um, another copy of a managed instance that you're using for dev, QA, UAT, whatever the purpose is. So this is pretty neat. Um, we can do this um, in respects of other, your actual backups, Azure SQL Database, or Azure Managed Instance is in the platform as a service environment. So you have managed backups. So your copy only, that's just your little one-offs before you go and mess anything up. So I hope you found this very useful that you can do a direct migration. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, come back, come back and check for additional videos. Thanks.